Hi, Amy of Fashion Toppings here. Today I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, I usually do my shopping hauls and my fashion tutorials, but I decided to join the little black bag. I see so many videos on YouTube of people doing the opening of their little black bags. I got excited about it, went to their website, loved the stuff, so I decided to join and I had so much fun. One week of trading and um, I was constantly having to check my bag and see who's offering me a trade and, and um, it was a lot of fun. For $49.95 a month, you pick one item and then uh, the stylists pick two more items. I'm actually open it as we're talking. The stylist actually picked two more items based on quizzes that you take and then you can trade with other people um, for I think it's seven days and then your bag is closed and they ship it to you or if you have everything you like then you can go ahead and close it right then and there and um, decide to keep what you have after a couple days of trading or whatever. You can close it whenever you want but after seven days I believe they close it for you and just send you what you have in there. Um, but this is a monthly subscription and I'm so excited about it. Because usually, like, if I have a free day, I want to go up to the outlets and go to the coach store. Because I'm addicted to purses. I love purses. Well, this way, I'm getting a new purse every month, and they're name brands. So, let's see what I got in here. I, well, I already know what I got in here. So, the bag open. Over the tissue paper. And comes in the cute little black wrapper with my invoice. I've been watching the tracking every day, following the shipment, just excited for when it's going to finally show up here. Okay. Well, the first thing was their freebies. Um, I actually traded. Originally, I got a blue eyeliner. Well, I have brown eyes. And uh, so I actually got someone to trade for a coal uh, colored mineralogy eyeliner. So excited to try that. Next, I got a belt. I love belts. So... This is a gold chain belt. I figured it'd go with a lot of stuff because I'm not really big into bracelets because I love my Brighton bracelets. I wear Brighton all the time. So unless I really find a bracelet I really, really like, I probably will trade for necklaces and belts. So I got this. Oh, that's really cute. It has a leather strap in the middle. So it's like a silver leather strap woven between... Uh, a couple gold chains is pretty good quality and it's just gold. You know, what I like about this is that I have so many belts that have the, the holes punched into them and sometimes they'll have holes and then there'll be a big gap and then there'll be more holes. Well, it always ends up I need my holes to be right where that little gap is so my belts don't always fit me exactly the way I want. And this one you can pick and choose whatever size you want. So I got this. And this was an inexpensive one. This one, I believe, was retailed at $16. Okay, the, the brand is um, Valley Belt Studio. But this one retailed for $16. I remember that one. Okay, next, I got a necklace. And I traded um, a ring for this. I had a little bow, uh, bow ring, those expandable rings. There's a big black bow with diamonds in it. And once again, you'll see that I always wear pretty much the same jewelry. So necklaces, belts, and purses are what I'm after. And this is really pretty because of something else I got in here. This kind of matches. But it's a gold chain with a nice pretty rock, blue rock. And it's going to hit right at a pretty nice length. So I can wear it with all those sweaters that I got on my last thrift, thrift haul video. So it sits right in a pretty good spot. It's a nice size. I, did, I wasn't sure exactly what size it's going to be um, based on the pictures. The only thing I'm not as happy with is the color of the gold. It is kind of a tarnished gold. It's not a bright, shiny gold. It's kind of a tarnished looking gold, so it kind of cheapens the look of the necklace a little bit. But I'll still wear it, and I'm happy with the, the cute little stone that's on it. So. Now, this is the one that I'm really excited about. Okay, I can find the opening. Okay. And it's Anila Anthony. It comes in a nice dust bag. 
And what I like about these dust bags is it kind of gave me an idea for refashioning some of my scrap materials. All my other purses, like my coach purses and stuff that I don't have dust bags for, I'm going to make dust bags out of scrap material. So, this little refashioning idea, always thinking, always thinking. I got the blue Neela Anthony purse. Take that paper off it so you can see what it really is going to look like. And I love the straps. Looks like it's going to be the right length. At least they pack it safely. Everything is like wrapped in plastic and I want it all off so I can show you exactly how this purse is going to look. And it's taped on here too. The plastic isn't just wrapped, it's also taped. I wasn't really sure if this purse is going to be um, more of a plasticky looking leather or if it's going to be a soft leather. It's actually, it feels like pretty nice leather. Okay, I think I got all the plastic off. Okay, here we go. So here it is, the blue, cobalt blue. And if you watch my videos, you know that I love cobalt blue. And it's got uh, the locks, so it keeps everything shut. The opening at the top is a lot tinier than I thought. It's not very wide. It's wide at the bottom, but it's kind of skinny at the top. But that's okay. I like it. Let's zip it. Okay, an extendable strap, that's good. So, the inside is, see the opening's really small, it's, it's hard to even show you what the inside is. I was, it expands on the side, there we go. It expands to be bigger, that's even better, look at this. See, you can expand it to make it bigger. So now I can unzip it farther, now that I did that. Okay. There we go. Now I can open it. Problem solved. The inside is actually black. Is there a stain in there? Oh no, it's reflection for my orange. I'm looking around and I'm thinking, is there a stain in there? My orange is reflecting inside and made it look like a Kool-Aid stain inside. So it's black and white striped on the inside. It has it has one zipper compartment on the side, and then you have your two standard pouches right there for your cell phone and your lip gloss or whatever. So it's a pretty decent, it's a pretty decent size, actually. Oh, there we go. It's got cute little gold. I wish the gold was on all four sides. It's not. It's just on the front. But it's still really cute. Beautiful blue, good quality. Closes in the front, zipper in the back so you can put your cell phone. You can always grab your cell phone. And uh, it's, a sm it's, it's a small pocket. It's, it doesn't go very deep. But it's perfect for your cell phone. So that was my first experience on Little Black Bag. And then as soon as November 1st comes around, I'm opening up my next bag. I'm so excited. But Little Black Bag, ah, this is going to be so much fun, my new obsession. Now I have refashioning, thrifting, sewing, and my Little Black Bag. Well, thanks for watching. This is Amy of Fashion Toppings. Until next time, you have a great day.